Welcome. What you're about to watch is an excerpt from my time blocking course. You're going to watch the digital time blocking planning that I do currently with Things 3 and a calendar just to keep my week organized. If you'd like to take the rest of the course, you can go to curtismichael.ca slash Skillshare and then find my time blocking course. Thanks for watching. Welcome. We're going to go over how I organize my email. Then we're going to go through going uh, through things three, uh, looking at my this week tag. Uh, and then I'm going to go through how to edit my calendar, how I do it so you can see it. And I've kind of pre vetted my inbox here because you don't need to see a lot of it. Um, and then I would also open things. And yes, I would normally do this on my iPad. I don't care which one. And I want the inbox to start. So this is one of the things I need to do. Uh, I'm selling a bike, so I need to go in here and in with bike sale. Oh, I didn't copy, so we'll copy, paste. And I want to do that tomorrow because they wanted to come by tomorrow and I already know that. So now we can come back over here and archive the message. I need to go over some uh, stuff with Composer for a um, an article that I wrote for Nexus, which is one of my writing clients. And so I can actually forward that right into things. And I will check Composer edits. It's done, so we can archive that now. I need to check the dates on this, so we will forward. This is one thing I don't love about Things 3 is that I can't attach files. So but I can do this, dates on project restart courses. This is for some local courses for my, that I do for like the local community. Uh, I'm going to leave this in my inbox though. Uh, gas, I will leave that in my inbox. And then for this, I know I need to do um, grabber field. And that is going to get tagged as, not today, I'm going to tag it actually, as this week, because it's this week. And I want to remove my today tag. Clear. And I know that this goes into the Pubs field. And then I also need the custom sales page. I know that as well. So we'll go stuff sales page. And I also know that this needs to get tagged as this week. This week. Done. And it goes with pubs as well. That's something I want to move forward this week. I think that's it for now. I don't need to go through anything else because we have the idea of what is happening here. So now we can actually minimize that uh, and go right to things three. Yeah, it's going to open that again. So you know, I could actually even in here archive this and this because I know to look at those I'm going to have to go to uh, GitHub anyways. So next, I'm going to open up things again. And I want to go to this week tag. So this is kind of all the stuff that I have to do um, that I want to do on this week. All right, everything from courses to take to anything else. So that's a lot uh, forward. I've actually already I already dealt with that one, so I can delete it. It's one of the first things I need to do using Composer. Uh, this is all done. This whole project is done, so we can complete that project. Done. All right, that not. Oh, I probably didn't actually complete. I didn't answer this question at the bottom. Complete. Mark is completed. Done. I submitted that, so it's all good to go. E-commerce course. That's fine. I'll need to come back to that e-commerce course. 
Ride the Divide movie. So I'm gonna start with my inbox and uh, I'm just going to file things. So this is, uh, she wanna do this today. So I just hit the keyboard command, give it today. Cause I wanna finish that out by the end of the day. And I'm going to move it to admin cause it's kind of a business admin task. Uh, check composer edits. Uh, I actually probably should also do that today. So I just hit the keyboard command again, to give that today. And then I'm going to move it off to Nexus, because I want to do that today. Create the backblaze 301 on my site, resolve the shop error so I can hit shift and select and I'm going to move both of those to admin. Right, the divide movie, I should probably just look at that uh, tomorrow. I have a file, right, the divide movie. Oh, it's a mountain biking thing, and I just wanna find that tomorrow. So that'll be a chore. Okay, so I've gone through my inbox, that's good. Uh, I have some highlighted today tasks. Clearly this is behind um, Adele Hinckley I need to follow up with today. Uh, I need to follow up with Jared Atchison. Check the dates, that's right, Patreon. We'll get to that later. Uh, check my composer edits today and Lorelei Library Day, that was actually a last night task. So I like the low key um, thing that things can be like overdue uh, and it doesn't really get upset with you about it, which is nice. Now I need to go through my um, stuff. I don't need this Moonlander project anymore, so we'll complete it. Mark is completed. Well, I'm not gonna build any shortcuts right now. I'm not gonna go through that. This one is done. I'll complete the project. Uh, Matthew, come back to that. I need to check in with him, so let me actually add that in here. Matthew, and I want to tag, I gotta pull up the shortcuts again because I forgot it. Just that tag the shift command T, so shift command T this week. That's good. Automate, build and deploy to Nexus. Yep, I need to follow up with him. Oh, I'm gonna, do I have the name in here? I do. So let's follow up with him this week. My four prob pubs things, the SEO stuff. That's fine. It's tagged for this week. That's something I don't love about the iPad version is in the Mac version, you'll see the show the tag right underneath and you can't do that in the iPad version. Not gonna do any of that. YouTube channel, I still need to do a new YouTube header, follow up, right? You can see that they're all scheduled. That's fine. So they'll come up as they should. Um, Oh, I see that Justin here. So I'll tag that as this week, just so that I get through it. Skillshare things three. That's an upcoming course on Skillshare. Admin do codable thing, the HST refund is done. Everything else is good. Time blocking course. Kind of let this one go. I have finished all of these videos. They are all done. So I can resolve them all. In fact, I could even go select escape and do shift and then resolve. Right. We can mark as completed, perfect. And then I can even do that here too. Um, in fact, actually one thing for the introduction isn't done. I need to do get thumbnail. So there we go. These ones are all done though. Good. Yep. Courses to take. I already have the shortcuts field guide tagged. So that's good. Uh, Patreon. Okay, Terra Pro. So I'm going to go in here. I know I need to write this next week. Right. I'm just going to give it a better name so I can read it. Terra Pro. And I need to write raising strong daughters. I'll give it a tag of this week. I didn't tag that one either, so let's tag that this week. Good. I don't need to worry about the other ones. There'll be the week after. 
client writing the e-commerce course is done. Next S, I need to build that into a project. So we'll say project four. And I'll tag it as this week. That one's already handed in. And then I need to go into here and to tag that as this week because I need to. What I actually need to do for this is um, list So I need to list the different development environments that we will do, uh, and then just get approval for that list of environments. That's good. Groceries, I got nothing. Camping, that's a whole bunch of chore stuff. Home fix, find security cameras, get a new barbecue cover chores, a whole bunch of the stuff that I'm just kind of not getting to. And I've already done this project. So now that I've been through everything, I can see that what, like what I want to do, rhythm of four is already there. Already got this, got the gator cord. I do need to do a dump run for dump run for um, compost stuff. I want to tag that as this week. I'm going to tag that as this week, not because I intend to, I'm going to actually intend to schedule it for the end of next week. And I think that's it. Ride the divide movie. Yep, everything's good. So now I have my this week tag, and uh, that's kind of where I want to focus now that I've been through everything. And we're going to look at my calendar as well for next week. So when I look at it, I already can tell there's a few things I need to adjust, right? I have Cynthia's, uh, I got to drop off my wife's bike. And so I'm just going to delete this event for now. And these are all repeating events. I'm going to delete this one only for now. Uh, and then I'm going to edit this one. I need to edit it like nine to 10. Oh. 10. Done. Save for this event only. In the bike shop, they open at 10. I can drop it off kind of around then. They literally like a block away, so that's fine. After that, I will just leave it blank for now because I don't know what I'm going to do. I do know, however, that I need to edit in here. I need to write Terra Pro. I'm going to give that an hour. Done. Save for this one. And the other one I need to write was what? It's raising Strong Daughters. Put that in here. Yes, I see the spelling mistakes. I don't care. It doesn't matter to me, actually, day to day. So right, raising strong daughters, I know that. And then I, actually, this one is done because we are not doing, I drop off my wife, but we're not doing the ninja thing, so that doesn't matter as much. Um, other thing I know is that my wife has a first aid course this day, so I am probably going to work early in the morning only, and I'll that's it. I'll probably just do this time block in the morning. And then after that, I will do nothing. I'll take the rest of the day off. So I'm going to delete this. Delete. And I should probably actually switch this down into before anybody gets up in my house, stay for this event only. Let's delete that. Delete this event only. And I'll drop in just a something block in there for now. So I'm going to go spend like the whole day doing something, riding, running, something like that. Something that is not um, work related at all. This will not actually take an hour. It will take like from like 10 to 10, 15. Done. Okay. So now we have kind of my bases covered for the week. Um, now I'll usually read in the morning. I'll read in the morning when my wife goes to run and get the kids to school. 
Um, I'll read on Wednesday. And then it says finish video script prep if I didn't finish my writing on Monday for the Terra Pro or the Raising Strong Daughters. Most often I actually totally finish. So then I produce the whole, like do all the videos then and don't worry about it. And then um, a Friday when I, or Thursday when I say I would record videos, most times I'm already done, uh, but it's there as a buffer block just in case I need it. In which case, um, like yesterday, because I'm recording this on a Friday, yesterday I worked on more videos for this course instead. So that leaves me with um, my client blocks in the afternoon. So I know that I have some follow-up next week, so I can probably put that in here. Um, email follow up. And so that means all my follow up tasks that I had in my task manager for this week, like this, I'm actually going to move this to Tuesday, because that's what I'm going to do it. Oh, there I had a couple other ones in here. Matthew, Tuesday, I'll follow up with him on Tuesday. That's it. No, I actually know I had a couple in my to debut as well, right? So I'm going to actually do this on Tuesday. I'm going to follow up with this one on Tuesday as well. And I'm going to follow up with him on Tuesday as well. That's right. And I need to do that today still. Awesome. So now we're going to go back to this week. So I've got my Tuesday stuff scheduled. Now I need to look at, so shortcuts field guide. You often on Fridays afternoons, I'll do a course. Uh, I didn't do it the last couple of weeks. So I'm working on this course, building it for myself. So next week I will probably not either, but I want to leave it here because that's the course that I'm working through. Uh, that's Max Sparky's uh, David Sparks shortcuts field guide. Um, and again, this is a Patreon thing. This would be a Friday thing usually, uh, although I won't get it done next week, but this is kind of the next task to push uh, more Patreon stuff forward. So I have a bunch of stuff here for um, ProfHubs. And I know that these two, uh, just because I know are the most important to start. So, but knowing that I've got like three, sorry, three things for them, one, two, three, four things for them, I'm going to go to my calendar and I'm gonna give them this block. And I'm going to give them, I'll say for this event only, this one. Problem. Done. Save for this event only. So at this point in my week, I'm actually going to leave the rest of it. So Honda right here uh, is actually this client right here, Ronald. He runs a, height, a site called uh, Honda, I can't say it, Honda HondaSangKangarang.com, uh, uh, which is like a big motorcycle site uh, out in the Asia area. And I've been working for him for a long time. That's how I'm going to leave it to, to finish. Um, I know that based on my email follow-up block here, and actually based on these two blocks, I am easily going to fill up these two blocks. There's going to be no issues with it whatsoever. Um, all right, I know there's some writing for Nexus, build a project and list the environments we'll cover and get approval. So I'm gonna actually schedule that environments we'll cover and get approval for um, Tuesday. I'm gonna do that as a client follow-up task. And then it's no longer a waiting task. Let's put my tags, take off waiting, done. And that's how I schedule my week when I'm looking at it on, um, on the digital calendar. That's how I do it every week really, I walked you through my exact process for doing it this week. In the next video, we're going to talk about, I'm going to go over basically doing this, how I've done it, how I did it for quite a long time with an analog system similar to a bullet journal, kind of a modified bullet journal method.